What the heck is that thing? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, thanks for joining me today. I thought uh, this week maybe we'd just do a little short video. I got some updates on um, the Not Shop space. Um, as you can see behind me, the bandsaw is gone, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, so this is just kind of a quick update on some new um, equipment that I got. Uh, my wife's grandfather, I told you before, um, had the lathe that I started with and he also had some other stuff in storage um, that stuff sat in storage for close to 20 years and then um, finally it got pulled out of storage and ended up over at my place um, hopefully I can put it to use and that starts with this scroll saw um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet but you know it's kinda funny because I just did that um, that handle for the mug and boy a scroll saw would have come in handy for that so maybe I'll find a use for it after all who knows um, oh next up is this here dust collector um, so that's kind of a new item for me it's got attachments on it a big bag on the bottom of it that uh, collects all the dust I can collect I can connect this to the scroll saw as well as a couple other things um, we'll get to that in a minute um, yeah, so the bandsaw is going to end up being offered for sale um, because coming over here, I now have this bandsaw. Um, so this is a Shopsmith bandsaw, uh, advertised as an 11 inch bandsaw. My understanding is that bandsaws are measured by the size of the wheel inside of there not by anything else I could be wrong that's what I've been told um, they advertise it with a six and a half inch throat um, I would say you could probably fit something six inch through this um, has a port on it to connect the dust collector to it which is kind of nice and I actually have a pretty nice bandsaw fence on it this is a shopsmith Craig bandsaw fence upgrade um, found this locally for sale for a real cheap price so I'm pretty happy about that it's a super nice bandsaw fence on a you know mediocre bandsaw who knows it's a lot better than what I had I know that I put a nice blade on it and um, so far it's cutting great I'm loving it um, if we come back over here this contraption here is grandpa's old shopsmith so those not familiar with the shopsmith this is a lathe based multi-tool and currently I just have it set up as a work table um, with all the table extensions on it as you can see here it also has a table saw set up um, so I do have it set up as a table saw unlike a normal table saw where you would have a fixed table and you would raise the blade for the cut height this machine has a fixed saw and you lower the table to get your cut height um, if you wanted to do an angled cut instead of rotating the blade you would rotate the table so it's kind of backwards from a normal saw but it works very well I've used it um, and it does cut pretty nice um, you can also convert this as I said it is lathe based so I can convert this into a lathe that has an advertised 16 inch swing so I theoretically should be able to turn some larger bowls on this I have not tried it out yet um, I've only used it as a table saw at the moment so that may come in the future and then also if you remove these table extensions tilt this table to a 90 degree angle take the table saw attachment off of it and then the whole machine stands up and becomes a drill press so it, it does a lot of different unique things along with that I also have a 
12 inch sander attachment that goes on it to turn it into a 12 inch disc sander. So I'm kind of looking forward to using that as well. Um, so it's got a lot of strange functions, um, but it should work quite well. I'm looking forward to getting it into my working routine. Uh, that meant that the workbench had to go back here, turned around the other way. I don't really like that because my bench vise is now over there. I don't like it at that end. Um, it, it feels kind of closed off to me. Um, coming over here, as you can see, it, it seems kind of closed off to me. We'll see how that works out. Um, the bench has become kind of a mess because now I've got a lot of grandpa's old blanks that were laying in storage. Um, kind of mixed in with the stuff that I was working on, gathering up. So now I've got a lot of extra blanks up there that are just hanging out. And then I still need to deal with all of this stuff as well. This was a local tree that we harvested. And I have sealed all of the ends and um, I'm waiting for a day where it's not raining so I can move these to where they're going to go um, to sit and dry. So yeah, that's kind of the uh, current shop situation. It's a bit of a mess, but I'm getting it back under control. Got some new machines, new bandsaw, new uh, scroll saw, new dust collector, and the shopsmith. Um, that I will eventually turn some larger bowls on um, as well as use it as a table saw or a drill press or a sander or whatever else I come up with that it may actually be able to do so yeah um, make sure you subscribe if you're new here and uh, give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming and uh, thanks, everybody, for joining me. We'll see you in the next video.